Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode 10. Yeah, 10 episodes of the E-Voice podcast. How crazy is that? <laughs> Mate, 10. It's unbelievable. Really good. Really good. I don't really, know really how we've podcast. got to that number. Mm. So we recorded 10 podcasts. Well, nine. And then uploaded them. And uploaded them yeah. onto YouTube. Oh, oh, oh Spotify, yeah. which if you're smart, you'll be watching this four hours early on there. If you're really keen. Oh, yeah. Four hours be early. A bit of a fucking loser to be that keen on the E-Boys podcast. Yeah, well... I mean, any <laughs> content that they can get, really. Some people just sat desperately, mm. just love us that much, and we appreciate them a lot. Yeah, let us know if you're watching this early. Do you have friends? Answers on a postcard. <laughs> Other than us, obviously, we're your best friends. Yeah, if you're on Apple mm. Podcasts, which is the one that we never talk about because we don't care about that one. They're not offering us a potential deal, are they? Nobody watches anything yeah. on Apple Podcasts. Leave that in the five star review because uh, we only read the five star ones. As you know, we read them every week. We don't. Mm. But we might start at some yeah. point, so... Yeah, not not this week, though? Do you know what we could? Um, the real question is, oh, how much are we struggling? <laughs> I, I think it's... I mean, I'm good to go, ready and, and, and raring for a bit of nutty news, if you want nutty news. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, by ready news, to go, mate. do you mean... I, I, I simultaneously love and hate the smile on your face whenever you say nutty news. <laughs> You gave me the title. Nice. It's like your calling in life. I really like that he did. Yeah. This is what Twatties became. This is this is like filled a little <laughs> vault, a little voice. That's what oh, all the comments right. say. Yeah. Have you seen? They're like Twatty is the closest thing we get to Twatty nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> they're not wrong. All right, boys. Uh, so let me just bring no, the headlines to you and to me. Is it news to you? Uh, so I'd just like to say a shout out to 17-year-old Macy Curran. Uh, she has just secured the world record for the longest female legs in the world. That's 17-year-old Macy Curran. I think whoever's on that judging panel needs yeah. their hard drive mm, yes, checks. Yes, I do. <laughs> just to, if you go on their computer, just loads of files of legs. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fact that they've given it to a 17-year-old as well, which is a, a little bit... On the cusp. Who, who's the who's the man with the longest legs? And I does know, he refer to himself as Daddy Long Legs? <laughs> don't know, but he's not making it into nutty news this week. Uh, uh, he's twelve. Also, in the news. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, also in the news, three hundred packages of cocaine have washed washed up on a Dutch beach, and uh, people are flocking to the beach to find them. <laughs> Literally, it's not just the police going and searching. Two men who turned out to have driven hundreds of kilometres to reach the beach told the police they were just there to get some fresh air. You've got it. So that's why you're recording in a different location this weekend. <laughs> yeah, right? live from Amsterdam. <laughs> but I mean, I suppose for the six people yeah, who watch, who listen to this only, yeah. Uh... Yeah, the people on Spotify will be like, God, he really went to Amsterdam for that bit. Unbelievable. <laughs> Whereas everybody on YouTube will be like, No, I went for the cocaine. Yeah. Not the bit. No, yeah. Same thing. <laughs> Uh, do you, have you seen two of the last recent podcasts have been demonetized? The, uh, the tier really? one got clapped and all, so oh. we need it. So we've maybe, opened maybe it with put... cocaine. Yeah. Subscribe. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> nice. That's the first thing. You were the last person I was expecting to no. do that, George. Yeah, well, you'll do that and ask for it to be cut. We're nah. just making no money for this hour. Nah. We've got to fix that. What do you, what do you mean, nah? Nah, it's all right. Nah, it's what you've just... He, he's spoken to you, YouTube. Nah, he's right now. So what, we've got the pass this, we've got the right. pass this week. I think I don't think the reviewer at YouTube watches the boys but I think they probably watched the first 30 seconds like, fuck <laughs> it, just... Subscribe. And you know, C, C Word is permanently demonetizable nowadays. It's, it's gone. I know, it's, it's, it's a robot, it a right? slur for some reason. It's a robot. Let's stop talking about it. Let's it's, stop talking about the C robot. Word. If it's permanently demonetizable, let's stop talking yeah, about it. yeah. Smart, smart from James. Smart from James. Yeah, we'll have to mute. We will be muting that out. Uh, but unless you're on Spotify, then you get. Uh, oh, Bryce, the editor. Would you like to choose any word of your choice to dub over George Zane? Oh, that's brave. And also put it here. Subscribe. Anything but the N word. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> George. But the N-word. Nice. This is this is derailed. <laughs> And uh, last up on Nutty News, it's only three topics this week. Uh, over 1,000 workers at a Sri Lankan factory have tested positive for coronavirus. I just want you to guess what that factory makes. Coronavirus. Masks. Yep, they make masks. Oh, no <laughs> way. Coronavirus masks. Well then. That are shipped all over the world, so I thought I would shout out to that factory. Great. Good. Don't order one from there.
I know, I'm not sure about you guys, but when I buy buy my masks, I don't go onto Sri Lankan factory websites and, and buy them directly. Well, no, but that's where they come from. Just because you didn't directly pull up to Sri Lanka and get one from out the back of a yeah. car. Do you think just... the man in the Amazon warehouse is just knitting them or something, James? <laughs> Well, no, I was just Tiny saying, like, do, you can't choose not to buy them from there. You know what I mean? Like, it depends where the supplier, well, so you, you know. Are you one of those people who's got... Go, oh, sure, I like that. Are you, oh, are, fuck that. Are you one of those people who's got, like, a designer mask, James? Like a Louis Vuitton one? I got sent some. I got sent some. I wear, the, I wear that one. And they have, like, the, the carbon filter refills. I've got two here. I want some of someone in Pets at Home, a bald guy, have, it was like a black mask and it had two Union Jacks and then like a, a knight on the front and down the middle, like in armor. <laughs> Solid, very, Mate, very good. It, that wasn't a man. That wasn't a man. That was a statue where we just protected him. Kylie Jenner sells masks and I was watching this video of her go like, oh, they're really good for me to like help like hide my identity. And no word of a lie, she puts it on. And on the front, it literally says, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. It's a no. no, really. Mm -hmm. mate, they make loads of money. She stole your whole flow, George. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get the George Mimos right. one. That will be made in Sri Lanka. Cheap. We've, uh, we've, this week. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, 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 just do uh, right. a little joke about. Just do no, a come on, go on. Do a riff off the number one thing. Get them done cheapest, Alex. Do a, do a little joke about the George Bush right. slave trade. Well, uh, Alex, we use the same merch company. Um, to keep the George slander going, because right. I know that's what you're all here for, we've uh, we divided the topics this week into basically <laughs> who, who contributed what to uh, who's, you know, like who's prepared it. And George, would you, would you just like to, do you want to just yeah. tell us your two topics for this week? Uh, my two topics are, um, I went for a run and my legs hurt, and <laughs> I would maybe like to get a snake. They are cool. That's how it's written, by the way. Right, which one do you want to start with? I went, I, I, I I went, went on, no, before quite, you start, huh? before you start, I went on the Google Doc to try and mess with everyone else's topics. I saw Wills and I was like, wow, he's really gone into a lot of effort here, even using bold writing at, at points, and I was somewhat impressed. I saw George's and went, to be honest, it will look like I've fucked with his by not doing anything. <laughs> and then I added on to the end of Al's, I did a really stinky fart. Which is, he's told the three people now and it gets even funnier and the podcast. every time. <laughs> it's funny because was, I was going to be writing that in anyway. Right, George, your run. Please tell us about your run. I went for a run uh, and it was really good. I felt really good after. and mm. uh, But I woke up today and my legs were really stiff and they hurt a bit. Yeah. You should get in an ice bath. You get a little, just in the cold yeah. water. Yeah, but that's a bit cold in it. I had a warm bath after, um, because that's quite nice. Now you've got yeah. a bath, man. And yeah, no, that was funny. I called, I called him up. I was just FaceTiming him, and he, and he answers in the bath like with this ridiculous smile on his face, and he's like, <laughs> "I'm in the bath." I was like, "Yeah, you are, George. Well done." <laughs> and he thought that's great podcast fodder. It's because I, lo I love having a bath. I've had a bath like every day this week. Do you have a bath in your own suite? I do. Alex don't. <laughs> I don't. I I don't, man. Fucking. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's a really difficult life. I used to have a really uh, big bath when I lived in the house. Like it was fucking huge. Uh, so and obviously I'm quite a big guy. So like having a bath where the entirety of me can fit in and I don't have to like have my legs out. Oh, was pretty nuts. Fucking talking about baths. You remember a E Boys uh, room swap video? Yeah. 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 So I've got a room downstairs, which is basically just a bin room. We basically anything we don't really want. Oh, we call that my bedroom. Don't want to throw about. Yeah. We we all right. So we we store it in there. Well, I've done that with the fucking paddling pool from there, and it stank of like hot dog water. Like that whole room. I thought the washing machine was dodgy. It's just that fucking pool stank. We didn't oh. fill it with hot dog water. Your remnants of Alex Elmsley's um Me? skin Gooch. flakes, skin yeah. flakes, yeah, just grown and fucking stank. I mean, it's still well, I need cardboard head to be fair. Do you still have that? No, it's gone. Imagine how nightmarish it would be if you went in there and another one of him had just grown from oh, the, no, from no, the like remains. a petri dish. We could have twenty podcasts. We could, <laughs> and they'd all fail. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't even be, to, we wouldn't be worth it. You waste time. You just get a half decent name. But yeah, going on a run was really fun. I liked it. Right, snake. snake. Oh yeah, I've been looking. I saw a video. No, I was just looking on pets for homes because I was like, you yeah. know what, I should have a little browse because sometimes I like looking at all like the weird pets they have on there. So yeah. I was looking at snakes and I was like, oh, this looks interesting. It was a, a Brazilian rainbow boa and it looked really pretty. And I was like, a oh, rainbow, you could call it. 
Mm. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Very, very funny wolf. Um, <laughs> very good. Uh, and that, they look really cute and like they're, they're yeah. look well, uh, they look well smart. So uh, I, I'm, I'm like, oh, I might get one when I, when I, when I get you're, a house or something. You're all talk. You're all talk. Am I? What do you mean I'm all talk? We've be, you've been saying right. I want this dog. I want this cat yeah. for this for about a month. Just fucking get one. You're not about it. I reckon one day, right? You just need to rock up and just fucking into this podcast webcam on. And a, an animal. All right, well, one day I'm going to get a Rottweiler and train it to maul you, all right, for that comment alone. Fuck it, man. I'd be friends with him. Man, I wouldn't, and I wouldn't be opposed to it, George. You have full permission to get any animal. So. Yeah, yeah, but you're not the landlord, are you, Alex? Oh, please oh, just mate. get a big fucking baboon. Yeah, God, just get a baboon, mate. Fuck it. Full <laughs> send baboon. <laughs> he just w- wakes up a baboon. Like, I would, mate, if I walked in and there was a baboon there, I'd be over the moon. <laughs> I, I'd be having a great time. I'd instantly be, be, they you'd be over the baboon. Kill you. Uh, <laughs> you could be, mate. As if that would be a problem. <laughs> I'd fucking fight that baboon to right. the death. And I film it and I post it at my channel. That'd be my last upload. Yes. But I think I'd be good with a snake because I've had I've had lizards before, right? And <laughs> you live with Alex. Yeah. So you, yeah. So, you so you'd be great with a baboon. <laughs> and yeah. So I get it. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I see where you go with that one. I was hoping it was more baboon related, but no. I'll, I'll, I suppose I'll take that. Have you been watching any snake TikToks, George? Have they inspired you? No. Snake TikToks. What's snake? TikToks? There's some really scary. Generally, quite. There's like this audio. Where it's like um, people like Hi, let man. their snake just free, and then they right. film it. Are and you talking about their cock? No, I'm not talking about their cock. Although on TikTok right. anything could happen, and um, they put like this really cursed audio over it, and it's generally one of the most terrifying things ever. Like it's very strange watching a snake just like traverse around somebody's room. Uh, it's That's very off putting. Hang on, I'll show you. I've just found a video of this uh, snake. It's fucking beautiful. Oh I don't God. think I've ever used traverse like that. But that's a oh, really good word. Thank you, well mate. Done. It's a lovely word. Um, yes. Yeah, sna- oh, that is pretty cool. It looks like Rainbow Road. Have any of you ever yeah. held a snake? I've given you a hug before, Alex. Right, too funny. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's fucking massive, George. Oh, wow. No, that is cool. That is a cool snake. It looks yeah. like you know when you like spill oil in water and it kind of glimmers a bit. Yeah. Mm. Oil snake. Yeah. Oh, I bet it's like really luby. <laughs> no, right. I, I, no, they're not slimy at all. They're just like smooth. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're not slimy. They're well, smooth. then you get a good bit of friction up the arsehole then as well. So. <laughs> oh, James, <laughs> fucking stop it, bro. How far? How much of that snake do you reckon you could get in your arsehole? Oh, Our arse no, talk for this week. No. How much of this like six foot long snake do you think you can get in your arsehole? <laughs> stop um, it. Nine feet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon if it went? Would happen if you got it all the way in? It's never coming <laughs> out. It just starts a new life inside of you. <laughs> I think it would be great because you could kind of tease yourself with the tail because that's obviously a bit... <laughs> you just you... go... Fuck you guys, man. Fuck you guys. Yeah, you never want to go head first. <laughs> you always want to have the snake back it up, you know. <laughs> back it up! Fuck <laughs> off! Right, and if it's a rat or snake, it's great because the noise it makes... Shuka, 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 shuka. <laughs> Then in. you can kind of track where it is inside of you as well. Actually, it actually rattles uh, as well. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> I can't be honest. I can't be honest. And even come to snake when it gets up there. Hey. So, um, we won't be getting a snake. Arse talk. Any arse stories moron. this week, fellas? <laughs> That's enough arse talk. That's enough arse talk. The RSPCA will not allow us <laughs> to get an animal. No more arse talk until you come out with your guilty pleasure. That is it. He's just very. Yeah, that is his guilty pleasure. What a snake up my. If you ever walk up to George and you hear a hissing sound, Alex, and you can't see a snake anywhere, (laughs) George starts laying eggs. (laughs) Talking about guilty pleasures, I did try ASMR last night because I was having trouble sleeping. Oh, yeah, what was the verdict? It didn't help. It scared me. Scared you? Which one did you watch? It like a woman whispering in my ear. I didn't like it. Uh, So I was was going to say, did you record some? I tried it for like, I gave it a solid goal. I had it on for about half an hour. Right. I didn't like it. She was reading to me and I didn't like it. What was she oh, reading though? Uh, I, it was just like, ASMR to help you get to sleep and she started reading Alice in Wonderland. I was like, I can't oh, be off, so I turned it off. I, I was going to say, I, I was wondering if you accidentally stumbled across ASMR Mind Camp. And, you know, it's what? a downhill. No, don't worry. It's downhill from there. I wouldn't recommend that one. Um, well. Derail well, it there a seg- bit. Segue yourself out of that one, mate. Uh, on. Talking about Hitler, have you seen Mike Pence? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty solid. Jeez, Six out of ten, I'll give you. I'll American give you, I'll give you. politics, the everybody. F- Are we talking about the fly on the head? He had a fly on his head, didn't he? 
Yeah. Um, which, you know, sums up, uh, <laughs> sums up American politics, you know, just rotten. Rotten people to the core. Mm. Um, I mean, I... What do you reckon attracted the fly to his head? Do you reckon it was like a type, like hair gel or... Probably because he not wear a mask. Just like, you know, he's, uh, there's so much virus around him. Um, he must be fucked. What? Like, surely he's fucked. Because if you've been hanging around Trump and the Trump, the no mask crew, and they've mm. all got COVID and you're his age, you'd be <laughs> the terrified. No mask crew. No, that's, what, that's their nickname. They've got, they're going to have an album out in the year if they make it. Um, it. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't watch the second debate. The first one was funny yet sad enough. The second one, I, I couldn't do that. Oh, I can't be bothered. Well, when's the election? Is it soon? Hopefully. I reckon it's at they'll... the beginning of next month. November? Yeah. Oh, man. Get it over with. That's gonna be a fun evening though, sitting down. Yeah. Do you remember? That. Do you remember the last one? It just be everyone being like, "What the fuck has just happened?" Yeah. Yeah. Everyone just being like, what? "I still remember the the big no." I loved that. That was you, great. That woman. You remember what? Do you remember the the woman that like goes on her knees at the White House and just goes no. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing that came out of that election was the um the Alex Ernst video. Oh, yeah. Do you remember it? Where it's uh, oh, he's yeah. watching the Obama clip on his phone. And he goes, "Well, at least I will actually be able to say that I was a president." And then it pans up, and it's just Trump <laughs> doing his opening speech at the White House. I was like, "Fucking hell, unbelievable video!" Um, so who's who have you lot got your bets on winning? Well, Trump. my votes are Trump. Uh, I, my yeah, bet I reckon, the I reckon he'll do it again. No, uh, don't say it like that. Don't say my votes with Trump. <laughs> say I think Trump's gonna win it. But don't say my votes <laughs> with Trump. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I reckon he'll take it again. Him having COVID and just being like, oh, I affirmed it, I'm solid. Like, well, do you see what he said about, like, this isn't my DNA, this is USA. That's That beat it. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. It was, like, it was like the fastest anyone ever beat it. Yeah, I feel as though people over there are so fucking dense. They'll just be yeah. like, oh, yeah. That's a bar. Yeah. It's not my DNA. That's a bar. Like, oh, fuck off. That's what, That's what they're like. Mate, Donald Trump got bars, mate. It's funny though. It's, uh, it's, it's. But did you see how much he was clearly struggling to breathe when he took off? He like takes off the mask and you just see him go like. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fucker. It's so funny. I feel bad for America because they literally have no one good to vote for. Yeah, but I mean, Biden's practically lost his yeah, marbles he's, at this he's point. He's basically on death's door. <laughs> like, and you got it's like a man who's gonna die in half a year in Trump. Mm. Yeah, Bernie seems like a nice small man. <laughs> yeah, he seemed nice. Yeah, Ber- Bernie. Yeah, I, w- I wish it had win. been Bernie. You know, it sucks. All that Ocasio Cortez. Uh, oh, I fancy the fuck out of AOC. Vote her in because of that. Not a reason to vote her in. Sorry, sorry. I'm not saying like that's why she's. I, I'm just like not related. Oh no, it would be a plus side, wouldn't it? I'm just <laughs> saying, very beautiful woman. Very beautiful woman. I will add her to the list of. Um, 14 year old moaning myrtle and oh. u.s future president alexandra ocasio cortez both similar ages so what's your problem trey they are they probably well she was 14 once as well so <laughs> no, 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 no 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 Do you know what actually i watched the chamber of secrets like three days ago i couldn't look at her the same way and you wanked <laughs> no, no i watched it as well and i was watching it and when she came on screen everyone all i can think about was is she actually 35 that was, all I, that was all I can think pretty fit though no i bet you've looked up i bet you've looked up moaning myrtle asmr i bet you've tried to find no, it no, she's really annoying that would sound horrible yeah when the basilisk mm. came on i was thinking is that what i went buckbeak as well because i got to prison of azkaban and i can't look at any of the characters the same <laughs> can't look at buckbeak the same the way he throws it back <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh mate! Oh, Aragorn, put these. Fu- no, no more, no more. This is probably why it gets. Demoted. This is the thing. When Aragorn comes Aragog's on, in, got in... K. How big do you think Aragog's cock is? <laughs> no, no. How big do you think his big no spider cock is? What do you I think, think a spider cock even looks like? All right, Google spider cock. I'm Google. Imagine like the, the that like porno parody. You could literally just call him Aragog. <laughs> Oh, uh, well. Are, are a big cock. Spider penis. <laughs> well, we'll see what we've been hiding in my chamber of secrets. Um, oh, yeah. Joe, this is a great segue onto the fact that there's a new Harry Potter <gasps> game. Wait, coming out. wait, wait. No, 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 no. no. Sorry. No what? segue. Male spiders don't possess a penis. What? Instead, their anatomy includes a pair of appendage- append- appendages called pedipalps. They don't have penises, they have pedipalps. Oh, that's no fun. How big do you think his appendedelps are? 
<laughs> he's what? Yes, get that. I'll show you. I'll show you. He's packing big boy a, a, a pedipalps or whatever they were. A pedipalps, uh, boys. Yeah, I'll show you. It's Oh, they're detachable as well. Detachable penis. Detachable car. Oh, nice. Hang on. I'm putting it in now. I'm putting it in. It's... Stick it to the wall in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was gonna segue into my Harry Potter segment. I don't. Why have you Google? Why have oh, you bro. put the Google image oh. in there? Don't want to see it. Don't want to see it. <laughs> it it's it's like, like a little testicles. For those, for those who are listening, <laughs> and we're, can we show a spider penis? No. No, we're not showing the picture of a spider's penis. It's not a penis. It's an appendage or whatever. So. Oh yeah, so we can show it. For those who are listening on Spotify, it looks like an orb, like a massive orb. Well, a small orb on the top of a stalk. What a spider. It looks like, uh, yeah, it, I don't know why I'm holding my hands up to people who can't see it, but it's like a... It just looks like... It, it looks just like a looks stinger. Like, like a lollipop. No, it looks like a stinger. It looks like a wasp <laughs> no, stinger. It looks nothing of. like a fucking stinger. It's round. Oh, great. Yeah, and it's got a pointy bit. Would you suck the spider's lollipop? No. No. You're, you're weird, you bro. You're strange. How much would it? How much would uh, you have to be paid to suck Aragog's... Uh, no. Uh, 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 no, a bro, bro, or whatever it is. Suspect as fuck. Well, you've put them onto this, to be honest. So none of you are innocent. No, no, no. You, I, I, all right, I laid the bait. You lot took it and ran with me. No, I do lot. it for seven I butter beers. I'm not part of this. Seven <laughs> butter beers. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, get your wand and your broomstick at the ready because a new Harry Potter game is coming and it's not anything to do with Was that an ad? You, so you read that out like it was an ad. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Well, you getting paid for this? Well, get your ones ready. <laughs> I'm reading it off news rounds. Um, <laughs> that's what it says. Uh, mm. I don't think they'll have any interaction with the monsters, to be honest, along those lines. Although, I have said that, I'm going to post an image of one of the things that the screenshots they've released. Would you sleep with this animal? Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, they're very oh, interesting. The New Harry Potter animal there. Well, where do those, um, like tusks or whatever ends okay for, for context it's a big dinosaur fat dragon type it animal. looks like the gruffalo in a sense doesn't it yeah it yeah. looks like the gruffalo just a little bit less friendly yeah um but what's it what's that from is that harry potter yeah so there's a new Probably. harry potter game coming out this year it actually oh. genuinely looks sick to be honest so you've welcomed him to the podcast and you're keeping all the monsters equal i like that i like that mm. new new ones we're keeping new ones rated we're going to have new ones, which is the, we can rate them when it comes out. Uh, to be fair, he's got them. I'm going to fuck you into the ground, eyes. All right, right. No, 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 no. That's done. This, this, this section's concluded. That's over. That's finished. Alex, another segue, please. I was gonna end it. And say, and fuck, Sorry, and, no. And I'm, I'm enforcing. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. No, 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 no. That's over. Oh, that's over. Gonna, it's done. We're gonna put fuck me. We'll draw a line. Game. Draw a line under that. The re- All right, one question, final question, Harry Potter question, literally last We've drawn one. a line no, under Jeremy that. No, Alex, one. go on, go Jeremy on. last go one on. is when you play this game, you get to choose which side you're going to go on. So you're going to be a good guy or you're going to go to the dark Top side? Top or bottom? No. What, his arse or his mouth? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Top or bottom? No. All right, fucking <laughs> Dominant or submissive? <laughs> no, that's not. That is literally not. That, that went quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Dominant, eh? <laughs> <laughs> not dominant, not dominant. <laughs> <laughs> you would make a great dom. <laughs> Submissive! <laughs> no! <laughs> the <sorting> hat. <laughs> no! Oh, would you, oh, would you fuck the sorting hat? You get bent over and fucked by the troll in the dungeon. You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't fuck the sword. There's a troll in my dungeon. <laughs> There's a troll in my dungeon. <laughs> There's a troll in my dungeon. <laughs> oh, we've ruined Harry Potter. Generally, fucking ruined it. In three podcasts, it should be, we've destroyed the entire franchise. J.K. Rowling the just had it over to us. The Marauders map shows you all of the dogging locations. <laughs> in the Mischief managed. <laughs> <laughs> it just wipes it off their face. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mischief managed. Oh my god, we're talking about a school. School first. Witchcraft and misery, more like Jesus. Oh god, Fuck yeah. it hell. Uh, jizzery. Uh, <laughs> Shut up, bro. Shut, oh, up. Shut up. It's dead.
Finish, right. I'll tell you what, my favourite spot. Line. Bring the line back. Mate, my favourite spot would be the leaky cauldron, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, you can butter my beer any day. Oh. So, oh. has anybody seen this bloke called Corpse? He's been playing Among Us lately. We've literally, we literally didn't even talk about the game. We just talked about. <laughs> it's gonna be good. You fuck the game. Side no one wants. No one cares about the game. No one gives a fuck about the game. They just want to know which ones oh. you can fuck. Anyway, right, corpse. <laughs> All of them, corp- if you're brave enough. So, oh, Jesus, yeah, too right. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it out. So there's this bloke. <laughs> who's just like randomly. I'm trying to think oh, of sorry. puns for they. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll there's stop. There's this Go bloke on. called corpse. He's randomly just absolutely exploded over the last week. Um, on and Twitch. Yeah, so, but not just on Twitch, so he's on like 200k live viewers playing Among Us because he's got this like crazy deep voice. I yeah. don't know if you've seen it. He's him a crocodile stuff. voice. But um, not just that, he's also got a song in the fucking top 40 right now, trending like worldwide. Uh, what, oh. The guy is just fucking doing bits right now. Uh, his Among Us videos do like 7 million views a piece. It's fucking ridiculous. Jeez. He plays with like PewDiePie and that lot, like the biggest, biggest groups. Yeah, he's, he's like, voice moist, moist is critical, scary. disguised toast, PewDiePie. Like, have you listened to his music, James? Well, James, you, you sound like no. you're hating. You're, you don't believe in his ability. No, you, no, I think him? he's sick. I love him. I haven't heard his song yet, yeah, though. Backtrack, but um, no, no, but I really like. I heard really the song like... bit, and you like fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> damn it, why like, not? Me? Bread. No, no, I, I think like I, I didn't even know he did. But he did music. I didn't even know. Well, neither did I. I've seen a couple of his videos. It's not like a band called Corpse or something. No. No, no, it's no. It's him. a guy called he's he's corpse something. I can't remember what his yeah. The end uh, of corpse channel. husband. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, that's it. Uh, that and it. like, yeah, I I just thought I'd mention it because one of the things that we I because I've been playing a lot of Minecraft and stuff and chilling the Discord and we did the stuff with the Dream SMP guys. It's like nowadays, it seems like mate, if you I it, it seems to change every two years. I'd say the definition of a blow up changes, doesn't mm. it? Now, yeah. if you're not doing 10 million views a video after a week. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. It's wild, you isn't it? You don't really see people blow off just up, up, off, just off YouTube at the moment much. Like, for the last few years. Mm. Like, especially in the UK, there's not been anyone, like... Like, apart from, like, that James Daniels. Yeah. He's the only one I've seen go from, like, small to, like, something. Whereas every yeah. summer it used to be, like, a two or three people would just go from, like, small to, like, well, go from nothing to, like, that would be in their full-time job. Yeah. Whereas mm. it, now it's kind of all, like, Twitch-led. Or, I don't know, I just... Or in the UK, it's all TikTok. Yeah, it seems like the YouTube scene's pretty established these days. Like, it's mm. just kind of like, is what it is. I'd say in the UK, right, like, if you wanted to break in, you'd start a TikTok account at the moment. Because that's how I've met. Oh, that's, that's a suspect call. Why would you say that? Uh, well, Why would you say that? Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? I think Twitch. I think Twitch. The only people who I've uh, seen who've, who've hit a million recently aren't on YouTube. It's all, like, British TikTokers. Um like what hit a million on youtube uh on tiktok in in the sense oh bro anyone can hit a million on tiktok i mean fucking dog well, but you know what dead, i mean but, but like she, she, when she was alive she could have done it yeah probably <laughs> fucking anyone can blow up on that yeah I, that don't do, you, that do don't you think there's more people hitting a million on tiktok in the uk right now than hitting 100k on youtube in the uk right now yes yeah yeah probably i mean it's probably more people hitting a million on tiktok it's very strange. I'm close yeah, to hitting 100%. a million on TikTok. I'm like 20k off. No, oh, fucking well, Ian. I'm 200, but I've like given up. So there's only so many unfunny videos you make. Oh, by the way, in the last episode, the um, James Marriott wannabe now has uh, more followers than me on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I win. James, you posted like three times on TikTok, and you deleted your best one. I did delete my best one. Oh, about Tank. Yeah, because yeah, you, no, you? you felt bad, didn't you? Let's not awful, talk about man. it. Let's not talk about <laughs> it. I feel, I feel pretty awful about it now. <laughs> really? <laughs> Do you actually? Yeah. <laughs> It's not your fault he's in the mud. Yeah, um, but it's a fucking dog. Like, I, of course it's Deji's fucking fault. But he's not gonna see it, is he? No, no but if, <laughs> uh, of course it's did. Deji's fault, right? But it's still sad. Oh, like, poor fucking yeah, yeah. Oh, shocking you, shocking. Dog didn't deserve it. It was funny though. <laughs> right, James. It was funny. All right, well, it was a really good TikTok. I'll be honest, and it did bang. But like, it, it you know, it's it's like JJ loved it. it. it, it, is. No it is. Huh? JJ loved it, didn't he? He thought it was funny. He he laughed. This is the thing. It's like uh, you can see him reacting to it, and he he smiles and then goes like, "Oh oh no, that's just not oh, that's not funny." He's definitely seen that before and gone. That is yes. fucking hilarious. And then he's put that in the video. Did they they got another dog called Tank, right? Yes. What? Tank two. Yeah, they Wait, got, Deji's an- got another, another dog. Did, an- did you not know? Wait, so yeah, he not- he because of his like 
because he couldn't like keep his other dog under control. Mm. Got the and same... it ended up getting put down. He thought, yes, it would be a good idea to get another dog. Mm. Of the same breed and call it. Are you being... Wait, he's got another German Shepherd. Uh, no, no, so the dog, the new one's related. I think it's like a family member, like either of the same mum or something. And it's also called Tank. Wait, hang on. So you're telling me he's got Tank another the German Shepherd? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Tank 2. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be fine. How long do we give this one? No, we can't do that. We can't do that. Can't be a segment. Oh my god. Well, it's his fault. <laughs> How long do we give this one? <laughs> All right, if we get a dog, Alex, Alex, I think it's time. <laughs> I think it's beep, 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 beep. No, if we had a dog, how long would you oh, give god. it with us? How long do you reckon we keep it alive? Should we, should we just make this the Spotify exclusive one? <laughs> because there's no chance I had to run it on this on YouTube. I think saying so. how long would you give the dog before it has to go to a more friendlier home? Before it goes to the farm. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, take it out to the back of the shed, mate. Right, um, no, all right, right. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to talk about Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> yeah, good. Why? Good, good, good. Because did you know Britain's Got Talent was going on? I thought you were going to say, did you know Britain's no. Not Got Any Talent? I saw, it was on, I saw a few people tweet about it yesterday. Britain's Got Talent has happened. Wait, it still exists? No, it just the series ended. Well, oh, wait, this what? current, this current, this current season, to yeah. this year's Britain's Got Talent has been and gotten already. Oh, what? And fu- no one fucking watches it anymore, what? do they? And so, yeah, like there, there was the the winner was announced. I think two days ago. <laughs> Who was Damn. it? Jeremy Lynch. He's gone back on. Fuck knows, mate. I didn't fucking care. I was and I was thinking to myself, it's 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 interesting how things we grew up with because Britain's Got Talent was huge, right. Like back in the day, yeah. I've got a tenner for anyone who can for which one of you can name the most Britain's Got Talent finalists. James, you can go first. Diversity. Oh, I was going to say yep. diversity. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I got uh, George Sampson. Okay, no, we get no, we each get one, and then yeah. we go into yeah, a George round. Go, all right. Yeah, Alex. Oh fuck! Diversity was giving my one. George Sampson. All right, Alex is out. James. Um. Oh fuck! There's hell, one man. fucking obvious twist one. and pulse. Yes. Wait, what did you say? Twist and pulse. You're just saying words at this point. No, twist and pulse. It was it was oh. not bars and melody. Yeah, bars and melody count. Oh, you can't say that now, George. Oh. Okay. Um. The, oh God. On. I'm gonna have to push you. Um. I I'm stuck. Right. Uh, that was the fucking dog, the fucking dog, the dog. Nah, dog, it's, done, it's done, that's James' attempt. How, you, how come no one says me. Susan Boyle? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Legend of the scene. I thought I was X Factor. I say you should have singing once. You shouldn't be able to sing on there. Yeah, you shouldn't, yeah. You shouldn't be on uh, Brent's Got Talent and sing. That's for X Factor. Back, yeah. back, 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 back up. But they're, both, but they're both done right now. Are we going to talk about how we're going on Britain's Got Talent next year? Oh yeah, no, because of course Diversity did the um the Black Lives Matter dance on Britain's Got Talent. That's how I, that I have heard that it's been on recently. And then ITV came out and backed it, and they because apparently they got loads of complaints about a Black Lives Matter performance. All right, I just found it interesting how you know things that we grew up with have pretty much just fucking been mudded, like things like Britain's Got Talent, X Factor, stuff like that. You know, stuff like over the last five years has just slowly gone like. Hmm. Well, it'll be cinemas next. George tweeted about Love Island, about how they fucking ruined it by posting two in one year. No, I, I meant everything was fine until... Because everything was fine in terms of, like, you know, the world was fine. There was no mm. coronavirus. Then Love Island producers did two seasons in one year and it, the world just... That was that it. Was, that was the problem. It, it, it's like the balance, you know? you got to have the balance, otherwise the world goes into turmoil. It's it's a struggle being a YouTuber when Love Island is on. So the fact that they did two seasons in one mm. year, where I didn't watch it. I was so pissed off that they just decided, oh, let's completely rid of adequate upload times for YouTubers again. What was that other one we watched, James? The one with mean? the guys in the in the house. What was it called? Um, oh, was it? You mean the, the like the social media one? The Circle. Yeah, the circle. Yeah. Yeah, I ran into the guy who run that at some fucking end game. Well, that was very strange. Do you ever see people from these real reality TV shows that pop up in real life? They're like the only people I ever see out in public. Oh, do you know? Do you know who Adam Collard is? I think so. No. The one of the ones from Love Island, the the really big toxic masculine, like king of the streets. Yes. King of yeah. Uh, I, I I found him on Twitter yesterday and he followed me. Oh I, right. It's just he came up so. Shout out Adam Collard, big fan of the of the E Boys podcast, I'm sure. Didn't you just insult him? No, no I didn't no, insult no, him. Nice to him. 
he just called him toxically masculine. Yeah, it was a compliment. Yeah, if anything, that's <laughs> what that is a compliment. <laughs> Fucking, ki- I called him a king shortly after. Yeah. Uh, you can't really complain about that, to be honest. Being toxic, but mm. yeah, it just means he's got huge muscles. Really done it. Let's face it. Mm. Um. What else has been going on? Oh, I wanted to talk. Do you think Among Us is dead now, or do you think it's still no. strong? And would you? You don't think it's dead? I'd like to also address something I said last week. Uh, in last week's podcast, I said I think people are going to try hard this game and ruin it by being too good at it. And, and then the other tr- day on Alex's stream, he was playing with me, and everyone was commenting saying that I'd become the thing that I hated. And, and you know what? And instead of taking that on the chin, right? He played one game, and then when the game ended, he went, "I can't play with you guys. I'm leaving." And he left after one game. Ah, 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 I didn't. You did do that. And the fact that you don't remember that shows how seriously Ooh. you take it. No, we, just last no, no, James, we should, James, we should James, make a video said of, that. on Among Us. We should do a fucking Among Us video because it would be funny. Do you know what? I, w- I feel like we missed that one and we, we could have done if that we really get... well. If there's still time, we should st- we should do it. Like some really creative ideas on that. I think if we... Because I feel like yeah. we're so... Uh, this is and, well, it's something else I've written down. I feel like we've been so head down into this one a week video thing doing videos that weren't really us i think we missed like something that could have we could have easily smashed uh, yeah i don't want to use it i don't but i don't know is it too late no now to no do way one, i think it's no. i think it's no, only I think second blow up, man. yeah so i saw an among us video that came out yesterday right mm-hmm. do you know how many views it had in 24 hours 15 mil i linked it in the ah! discord and i'm not I and mean, this isn't i'm alex exaggeration this was 15 mil <laughs> um, <laughs> like genuinely i was so i was on my feet I was, it was um and, and actually, I the reason why I was going to bring it up is because of the fact that I generally think there's an E-Boys video in it. They did it as like um, a reality TV show. So it was like a bit. I'll find uh, it now. They did what, it. like with VTs? Well, well, not VTs, but the bit where you... Yeah, so it's like... And it was pretty good. But if you did that... Um, let me find... Uh, there's there's two of them. Here's the one that uh, I found. Because there's, there's a lot of Among Us videos. So... Oh, this isn't the one that did... Um, in a day but i'll link i'll link a bunch of them so this is the one that i think we could do an e-boys video around where we actually just played it if we could find more people i think the concept's good obviously it just wouldn't be a sketch basically they just do like among us it's great they're called La- laugh over life and it's a great video um oh right so it's not them playing it it's like a it's like a joke 15 mil. but it's like 15 mil in two weeks and then in general there's these guys who do animation these are the ones that have been banging lately um it must be such a sick thing for animators because it'd be so easy to like make loads of really cool stuff yeah okay it, right? all right <laughs> look how many views this has in two days <laughs> you're gonna lose your mind it's 99 of bosses that's a fucking banger 43 mil in two days oh my man God. in two days but i don't think we've missed the boat i think there's time <laughs> Bro, that all right. So their last three uploads. One was a Pokemon Go video. It's got two hundred and eighty k. The next one's an Among Us with a hundred players. Has seventy eight mil. Can you easily just whack a hundred players in or not? Uh, it's anim- mate. These videos, it's are, an animation. these videos are animated. Then it's not real. Like these guys are ha- like hand scratch animated. It's not these. real. Yeah. So some people have been doing it where they code it in with a hundred people. Um, no, they haven't. Yeah, there are some people. Um, Is there? Not these guys. So. Um, like some people also do one where it's like, like an online game kill cooldown with one person. Um, I think you probably just have to get the source and you'd have to host it off a of land. I mean, it's complicated and stuff right. that nobody watches us cares about. Uh, mm. but, um, yeah, most we of them are animated, like but look at that, mate. Fucking, he cracks them out he every is. two weeks, a 50 million view video. It's unbelievable. That's the pixel kingdom for anybody who's watching really cool videos. Quite funny. Shout out you, Mr. Pixel. Should we, should we talk a bit more about why we're thinking of changing the upload schedule a bit? Yeah. Because we're fucking knackered. Well, for a few reasons, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. So, fucking, we, for context, we're thinking of dropping the upload schedule down from one, like, guaranteed every Saturday to one, to like two a month, one every two weeks. Because uh, I, I feel like we're just. This sounds very cliche, but like putting myself in a box that I don't think is... I feel like we're just kind of so, nearly becoming Sidemen 2 just a little bit shitter with some of the videos. Yeah. Which is... Yeah. And I think, <laughs> that, you know I I mean? think that's what people would agree. I don't feel like we're running a group channel our way. I don't think we're doing it. I think we just going, no, that works. And then, mm. well, that fucker will follow in that. But there's some videos that I think we could 
we just I think we still need we're still figuring out what what style what style also because of the main channels right like I think so, there's a lot of stuff as well and I've mentioned it on the podcast as well obviously it's global pandemic so putting out like sometimes you we do relatively have to phone some videos in which we don't want to do um mm. because of the fact that like this week yeah um I went out on one shoot day uh with um Chris MD and crew and I come back having to get a coronavirus test uh and that's and that, and that was and we were with the cameraman who i it was so funny actually they went we'll see you tomorrow for uh the e-boy shoot cause we had a really cool shoot planned which we're still gonna mm. do uh and that's and they i oh, don't want to know if we can go into too much detail about that video but that video yeah. is the type of stuff that we want to do um mm. do you say we can the car video. yeah we could talk yeah yeah so we were going to do basically a video on a racetrack uh with the bell delphine car and whoever set the fastest lap, kept the Belle Delphine car. Um, but obviously, because of Rona. Such a cool video idea. Because of Rona. Yeah. Fucked. But you, you win some, you lose some, we'll reschedule it yeah. and we'll get it out in, in the near future. Yeah, it's kind of rough because, like, because obviously there's four of us and anybody as well, any mates connected, like, at any point, anybody has to yeah. go into lockdown, which sucks. I've got eight days left on my app, apparently, which is great. But if you come back negative, surely you don't have to isolate, right? I'd assume so, because I would be, I wouldn't have anything to pass on. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah uh, it's taken ages. It's taken longer and longer now. Well, I'm just really wary about going outside now. Same. Yeah, same. I'm, I've been isolating. Because it, it, it's, it's estimated there's about 50K, 50k cases a day now in this country. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah, so yeah it's fucking fucking hell. Hell. And based on the fact that they're not, like, and that makes sense because, like, I know three people have taken tests and it's taken four, like, we still haven't gone back in four days. So it's taken longer and longer, which sucks. So that's one reason why. Uh, like God knows mm. if it will change if we get out of it, and you know, well, yeah, we can have more I think people. But... Yeah, we're still finding it. And I think the more people, the more we start to build a team, the easier it'll get for us. But I think for all of us as well, it's not any of our like top top priority. So it's like you know when you're like yes, everyone's still we're trying to make sure our stuff's going all right, and then when when the e boy stuff becomes a hassle of like organising it, it's like it's tough for us all to like be like fucking all right, we'll get screw this. It affects the main as well, doesn't it? But the important thing to note is that we think, one, people are getting far more content from us as a group now than they were when we were doing weekly at the beginning. Mm. We've got the podcast, which is another hour every single week. And I think it's like, for every, like, I, I always thought, like, whenever we come together and we come up with video ide video ideas, we come up with three great ones for the next following month. And then there's always <laughs> one, one where we're like, space. Yeah, that's we've got one and we're like, right, chess. It's hard to come up with <laughs> weekly videos. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is hard to do, and, and I feel like this is this is a way of making sure every single one we do is something mm. we all love the idea and we all think it's going to do well, mm. and we're all putting our all into it. So. Also, it gives us time to get really, really far ahead. Also, as well, a segment that I totally forgot to mention: chip fat's gone. Yep. Yeah. Rest in peace, our guy. Uh, I've I've hey, honest. So, chip fat for those who don't know is the editor who what what was the editor on uh, the E-Boys YouTube channel. Like, all of the fancy stuff, anything that was good was shit fat. And uh, we've, we have lost him this week. And it's been like a very, I, it's honestly hurt more than any breakup I've ever had. <laughs> uh, Jerry, it's sad. Yeah, it's, it's now war between us and the side men. <laughs> it, it's, it can't be war. It's war. Be, purely well, it's because, war. no, 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 no. It can't be purely because we- We got him from them. We took him, took, yeah, we got him from them. Doesn't matter, it's war, Will. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> But, but we meant... saw him do Sidemen Pro Clubs. We were like, do you want to work for us? Doesn't matter, it's war, Will. He messaged oh, me oh, today. Oh, oh. He messaged me today and he was like, uh, I know. I, we, I know. Pay him. I didn't. Pay he's him. like, I know we haven't spoken um, since the thing, and I messaged back being like, I generally said I didn't really know what to say. I was just generally quite sad. <laughs> I, I, was like, I, I, I was like, I didn't want it. I didn't want my first conversation to be like, I'm gonna miss you because it's. I know, he was one of the fucking boys, man. Maybe he'll be back one day. Like you know when. Um, I was really upset, man. He texted me today, said he really misses doing the videos. Like, you know when Henri returned Arsenal for those few games, he'll come back one day. <laughs> yes, when he scores against Leeds. When he's finished in 30, yeah. and he's got no After Effects skills left. <laughs> so, five years. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, unbelievable. He's a great he's a great mm. guy, and he did an unbelievable job for us. Um, but yeah, thank that's... you for all you've done, Mr. Will Chipfat. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to find somebody else, because people keep on asking, like, when's the next video going to be? And um, we've got people lined up. We just need to... You know, it's going to take time like it did at the beginning when we were going for an editor every week. Like, we're going to have to find somebody. Yeah, just fucking slapping them and fucking going through them. Sorry. Yeah, like that. We're going to sleep with them. Uh, so, 
yeah, we'll we'll have everything back as it will be soon. Um, but obviously need a couple of weeks to sort that out as well on top of everything else in general, like not just the content, but also the back end of things and getting it sorted. So. All right, fucking sort my... B- no. No, 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 probably no. not. But we're there. Yeah, but as James said, this, we post... I was looking at it earlier on stream. We post a lot of stuff. Too much shit. Too yeah, much. too much shit. Yeah, too much. I think we do too much. We did. We're too. Go on a break. Go on a big holiday and never sleep. Where would you go if you could go on a holiday right well, now, though? Bali. I've been thinking about it so much. Bali, Bali you know, is the one, you know. Maldives. Bali or Maldives. Or Maldives. Hawaii. Hawaii's clear. In the yeah. summer, southern hemisphere, I really want to do South Africa. Have you Ooh. ever been to the Caribbean? No. no. A lot of that is in the southern hemisphere, and it's so nice during Ooh. October. Really? Yeah. I take any of those, man. When does it does it get dark then? It's it's I want to, I want warmth and light. Don't know geography. Yeah, it's warm because it's basically straight no, right warm, on the equator. Warm, warmth is fine, but uh, is it does it get dark early there? Because sometimes no. like when you go like see so if you went to Hawaii in October, it gets dark at like five six o'clock still. No, no, still oh solid. solid. To be honest, I don't I'm mind sure dark if, if it's w- hot. Like I I like I don't mind it like being in the night like it's like being in Tenerife when it's night in Tenerife you know what I mean it's just like like yeah. humid and the yeah. air's hot you know I love that I quite like Los Angeles that. when it gets a bit when it's dark and you're sat by the pool and it's still not freezing it's not freezing it's just like normal I swam in Minecraft earlier right and I oh, <laughs> okay what? and I and I was like I want I want to go on holiday I want to swim. I haven't swam in so long. <laughs> and and that's me. I was swimming in Minecraft and I was like, I miss this. If we had a swimming race, who would win? Me. I'd lose. Why would you win, George? I think I'd win. I'm quite good at swimming. I'm not good. I, I used would... to go every week. Did you? What, what, yeah. Like in 2004? <laughs> no, no, in like 2010. You might have lost it since then. Would my, would my height advantage? I think Will would win it because I think height it actually plays into it quite a lot. But he's a yeah, good, but he I'm fucking good rapid. I'm, I'm not a good swimmer. We should do, we I used, used to be a good swimmer, swim but I used to, I could do some decent. I did. I did. Last thing I ever did swimming wise was just fucking charity laps, but that was ages and ages ago. There's no one, and I, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the um, what you call it, cardiovascular system for that. I can't. Did you? Uh, did any of you ever have uh, them Frosties badges? Yes. What you yeah. got for swimming? I had like one where because I held my breath underwater for ten meters. And I was well proud of that. I still don't know how I did that to this day. I can't do that. That shit freaks me out hate it <laughs> even play but i do love a good swim I, I love a good splish splash swimming on minecraft gives me anxiety <laughs> i hate it george in the pool what will he do what will he do next mask on it... waterboarding himself did you watch that uh logan paul pokemon live stream uh, i very much I enjoyed that about very it. much enjoyed that no i didn't watch it Really good fun watch. I haven't been keeping up with this Pokemon car thing. All I know is a lot of people. A lot of people made thirty grand, George. Uh, yeah. So it was. So he got. He, he whacked the. Uh, he basically had the thirty six or thirty two packs in the box and sold yeah. all pack all the packs for eleven grand or whatever. And he was opening them and like they pulled their Charizards and fucking Blastoises and whatever. But he has this like bald, um, like this not like mentor but like there was this guy who basically collects pokemon cards and was like oh that's worth that much that's worth that much and this guy who's supposed to be like he obviously has a huge collection professor of elm in it was just was just quoting completely fuck <laughs> professor elm for fuck's sake was just completely um quoting like wrong values like there was a bulbasaur card right which yeah look if you look it up it's like one and a half 2k like ps like top quality every time he got out he's like yeah it's a 30k card 30k card that is and like all the values it was just seemed to be skewed and now the hype towards pokemon cards because logan's brought so many eyes on it and it's such a limited market it's just like inflated through the roof i was gonna say because i've got my pokemon card collection that i bought about a year ago yeah i mean if you you probably made a chunk on it yeah i've well i bought i i looked on my ebay today and i paid 400 for the lot of them it was a base set that was worth 400k uh a fossil set and a jungle set paid 400 for the lot Base set huh? shadowless or base set? No, no, no. It's just it's just the base set. set. It's nothing special yeah. about it. It's just the base set. Uh, but it's probably doubled in value. All, all my co collection is probably doubled in value by now, or if not more. Mm. Yeah, big up. And they were, like, like the way they were worded, and it was like they were like saying like, "Oh yeah, it's a great investment. We think it's just going to plateau and then boom again, and then plateau, not dip." And the way they were talking about it was like, "It's going to dip." If, I wonder if this guy wants. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But I wonder if the um, if the guy was like trying to say that. To be like just to to get more people in and get his collection. yeah yeah well, he's, he's, like, he's like Randolph came out at the end of his bag. video and was like this guy is not good yeah for I you, watched Logan. that 
No, the, that guy's a scumbag. I'll I'll come out and say it. He's a fucking scumbag. Like the fact, like you you going on a live stream and in purposefully inflating the prices for hundreds and thousands of children to see this, right? And like it like fucks with the market so much. Why, why children though? Because they don't have fucking the peas to buy. Well, no, but like the the, the way I see it is like you're just trying to people who won't look into it, people who won't realize that the guy's a big fucking fraud, mm. like a big liar, like yeah, yeah, it, it's yeah. it's. This, it's this nuts. reminds me of when Akin and Fenwa got priced out on the FIFA market at five k by KSI. Right. It's disgraceful. Oh, right. Shut right. up. Well, but it's like that's Bitcoin, that, 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 Yeah, it's like Bitcoin, any everyone any... was buying into that so much, and then mm. everyone just kind of lost interest and it crashed. Yeah. It's gonna be the same with this. Well, you know that, that you know the guy the guy collectibles guru got his money through Bitcoin. Oh, that'd be why big scam. If there's any hyped investment, by the time it's hyped, it's not a good investment. Yeah, usually yeah. exactly. Yeah, I bought them as an investment. My cards. Yeah. You did really well. That was a really good one. Yeah, I'm not going to sell them because I can't be asked. So how much like, is no, that? I'm how much like, is that, they're um, cool to have, you know? How, how much is that, uh, was it Red Eyes Baby Dragon? I how much that's worth now. I don't know. Probably not much. Because <laughs> Wait, not, those, not in two Yu-Gi-Oh's hours. tends to go down in value. Yeah, you guys really? don't hold. Yeah. I want to get um, a first edition um, Hollow Poliwhirl. Because apparently that's like one of the cheapest ones, but it was my favorite Pokemon as a kid, Poliwhirl. Why do you Why do you want to get a singular card? I don't get it. I just think it'd be cool. What is your favorite Pokemon? Lapras. No. Oh, I can see you as a Lapras, Donny. That fits. Alex, what about you? Oh, do you, care? Do you bit, have one? Or I generally, care? I used to, when I was collecting, when I lived in America. I had loads, but like of the GX ones, and the one that I always wanted was. I need. I need a straight answer here. Yeah. Mewtwo, mate. Couldn't get a hold of it though. Mewtwo. Hmm. George. Gengar, because I saw him. Oh, you know, I Pokemon. knew that. Sorry, fuck it. Sorry, I should have known. You know, Pokemon Fire Red on the intro where he's fighting like Nidorina. Oh, yeah, yeah. May I remember that? I just saw him then, and I was like, ah, oh, he looks well cool. Mm. Oh, uh, that's like a him. really I good answer. Yeah. I, couldn't. I swear by Lugia. Is fucking. Yeah. Have you seen the second movie? His song where it's like. Do, do, yeah. Do, no. But uh, they've got the little arena. Fucking. It's, to be honest, I'd say I'd say that's my favorite favorite movie. Pokemon 2000. Did you see the new Pokemon film that's on Netflix? Uh, no. They recreated the the first Pokemon movie. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, they did, right. didn't they? It was all right. I just think I'm a bit old for it now. Like I, I didn't enjoy. I, what, I did... really enjoyed the first Pokemon movie when I was a kid. And it's mm. basically the same. It's the same story, except they, it looks a bit better. The re- and like, was it like a remaster? Yeah, kind of. But right. it's like a full. It's set of like two D animation. It's three D. Um, I, I thought it was quite mm. good. It's just I didn't really have much interest in it because I'm twenty two. Yep, yeah, fair, fair enough. Fair. I enough. also love Melotic. Melotic's a good Pokemon. Yep. Bulky as fuck. Pokemon Go won't make a comeback if it's. Uh... Uh, we Maybe. can only wish. That's wishful thinking. I I just I it was good. It's one of those right. It's it's kind of like the full guys of mobile games. It just kind of happened for a week and everyone did it and then it just died. Mate, my no, friends at home still that. play. It's like two months. My friends at home genuinely still play like every day. It's like yeah, I, when it was all everyone was doing though, and you could make video. I wish I was a YouTuber where you could make videos on it would bang. Morgs, mm. Morgs is ones. Me is Mewtwo one. What a boy. What a boy. Oh, uh, that's why I just typed in. I just looked because I remember I was looking for which Pokemon was it? The green one. Uh, Rayquaza. Oh, right. oh, yep. Cold. Yeah, cool. I top like tier. Big top Pokemon. Tier. Big Pokemon. He's a top tier. He is a top tier. Big Pokemon. Yeah, they're fucking well, they expensive, are. though. Like, no wonder. I mean, now it's ridiculous, but. Mate, it's amazing how much money you can spend on fucking. Do, do he, are you are you are you <laughs> laughing at me for getting Rayquaza's pronouns correct? <laughs> I'm laughing at you for misgendering a Pokemon. I misgendered Wait, a Pokemon. What? I take it seriously. Went, Rayquaza's not he, a he. Oh, sorry. I mean, they. Is it, is it like a they? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have a gender. It's a they. Yeah, legendaries are theys. Fair enough. I mean, Pokemon said, "Do any of them have genders?" Yeah. Do they actually. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever played it? Of course it? they do, because they breed, don't they? Obviously, to be honest, I was a Yu-Gi-Oh kid. I'm not gonna lie. Some of them have like different traits on, and like yeah, they're different. They have different stats depending on which one they're. Like need a king and need a queen. Oh wait, no, <laughs> I think they're, they're like eighty twenty. It's for, sorry, this is really fucking boring. I think people. Well, right now it's trendy, ironically. So need a king. I think need a king's like this is the only. This might be the only acceptable week to talk about Pokemon in depth. You know. Yeah, no, I used to, I, I mean, I say used to, I'm still in um, some Pokemon Facebook groups. Do you guys have Sword and Shield? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your team looking like? I've got like a Mewtwo, a Mew. Uh, bro, your, your shit, I don't want to hear about your team. You get slapped up every time. No, no, on Pokemon Sword and Shield, I've got a well good team. Yeah, but regardless, yeah, 
Sorry, I'm Hang on, Will. I've I got actually... a video on my channel where I slapped you up. Yeah, what, what wait, one, out, one out of five times you fluked one win. Fuming. You, you, you lower your voice. Yeah, your boy's chest really showed you where you were at, George, to be honest. So. Well, yeah, shut up. All right, I don't care. That video got like one view. No one saw that. <laughs> yeah, did, yeah, nobody saw your boy's chest. Sad, isn't it, really? You think about it. Nobody will ever know. Right, James, on your topics, I want to beef you about this. You've written, I had some ve vegan Baileys and it was good. Yeah. Or it was Poggers. Vegan Baileys. It was Poggers, yeah. Vegan, vegan fucking, Baileys. Get a fucking grip. No, because I realised I don't like regular milk. Like, I like oat milk. I... No, regular milk's wank. It just makes me feel ill. So when Ari, Ari and I saw this vegan Baileys on Amazon, I was like, fuck it, let's give it a go. And then I got addicted to it. I had like almost like a whole bottle in one night. I was just fucking going at it. Fucking when I recorded baby, my last bro. video, you could literally see me like <laughs> drinking like more and more vegan Baileys in my last video. What do you mix with Baileys? Nothing. You can just drink it straight. Or, what? or you can have it in coffee. You can you can mix it with stuff, right? Yeah. What would you What would you mix it with? Coffee. Really? Yeah, Bailey's coffee. That's mm. the thing. What, it's nice. What is it? Is it what does it taste like? I've never had Bailey's. It's, like, it's really good. It's really good. It's like creamy. It's like how would you describe it? It's like sweet and creamy. It's like yeah. it's dead easy to drink. But it's one of them ones. If you had like a bad night on it, you'll never want to go near it ever again. Mm, I love yeah. it though. I fucking I've always loved it. You see, I'm a, I'm a, I, I drink in moderation, Will, so I don't have it's, bad nights. On it's things. a cream liqueur flavored with cream, cocoa, and Irish whiskey. Oh, okay. You'd like it, yeah. You'd like it. Can we have a Bailey's night, James? Bailey's night. Yeah, we'll have a Bailey's night. Well, we're not invited, yeah. Alex. Right. Are you fuming? It's, to be honest, it's I don't, I don't James drink, have to be drinking honest. nights. We have whiskey nights. We used to have tabs nights. Uh, we used to have uh, cracker nights. <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, Alex, me and you will just have sex. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, why not? Oh. Talking about, uh, well, actually not talking about anything, but I, I put the uh, Camcast in tent in the bin yesterday. Oh, it's finally done. Yeah, it's gone. Somebody it had to get rid of it. <gasps> Let point. me show you what I did find in the bin, though. James, please don't ruin it. <laughs> what? I'm going to ruin it while you go get it. <laughs> no! Please don't. No, don't, don't. don't, 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 don't ruin it, ruin it. Let him get it. No, he's going to ruin it. He's going to No, go get it. I'll mute James right now. I'll mute James until you come back. All right, bye, James. I might go get water. I don't really mute oh, oh, he's got his ass nice. out. Uh, oh, he's got his ass out, everyone. At home. I didn't want to see that. <sighs> Fucking hungry. What am I going to eat? I ordered a pizza earlier today and they put mushrooms on it, the scoundrels. Oh, I love mushrooms. So I got on uh, a pizza. 12 pounds back. You know how much you ordered a pizza? Oh, you got, oh, mate, you got all the money back. Yeah, because I hate mushrooms. Mushrooms are rank. It had mushrooms, green peppers, and red onions. That's not a good combo for the, what I had on that pizza. So I was like, that's well, not if they ordered, put, so Well, no, if they back. put them on and you didn't ask for them, that's completely fine, but... Because that's yeah, ridiculous. What? That's ridiculous that they would put more on. Exactly. It was a disgrace. Well, they, maybe you thought he'd be nice. And, and I oh, really like that. Oh, my God. Look, what's he... Sorry. What? I found some crutches in the bin. <clears throat> Wait, What? Wait, did you find them in the... Did he find those in the bin room? Did you know yes. What he said? So, um, I know he told me about it, right? And he has taken hospital equipment from a bin room yeah. up to his room and not cleaned them. I oh. have cleaned them. You have cleaned them. No, I haven't cleaned them yet. Wait, what are you <laughs> He's literally <laughs> taken something, which the whole point of, right, is that someone who has been in a hospital has put their hands over it. And he thought... I'm gonna bring this into my apartment. Sorry, just wash my hands. No, well, I found them in the. I saw them just sticking out of the bins, and I was like, well, that would make a fucking unreal, funny prop for an intro. Song. Yeah, imagine someone walked in while you were stealing out the bins. <laughs> I, had, like, I got them, but it was like. Fuck. Or you could just my, pretend. Uh, my... You could just pretend that you were struggling, really. I've got my why vegan have you, why have you Baileys, into a by glass, the way. Mate. Okay, yeah, James, come on. We don't show our I made that joke in my last video. I made that joke in my last video. No glasses, James. Don't. No. Yep. No, not. It's really nice. No. Creamy. Don't like that at all. And the vegan one's made with almonds, so it kind of, you know... Um, oh, nice. You know, what? what's that uh, liqueur called? That, like, almond one, that really famous one. Uh, Disarono. Yeah. It's kind of, like, got, like, a Disarono hint to it as well, because it's made with almonds. Mm. Really good. Sick. Tell you what is good. Cafe Patron. Oh, fuck oh. off. No. XO. No. I kind of hack that. I fucking don't like that. We do. We should do a, li a liqueur, a liquor fucking 
You yeah, know. I'm sure the 14 year olds watching this podcast will be I able to in, help us I out. Just, just meant in West Bear time, really. Yeah, could, should we actually do <laughs> a pre- should we each exercise? do one privately and then yeah, like oh, s- send it together and kind of like go like, oh, why'd Ooh. you put this there? Oh, co- I quite like that. I quite like that it. idea. Yeah, yeah. We, we could do that in a podcast, compare our favourite drinks and yeah. argue about them. Ribena. Mm-hmm. Sorry. You, you guys will be questioning me when all of them are in S. Fanny discharge. For mine is for mine vodka is uh, bottom tier. I hate vodka. Well, let's talk about that this and tequila. next week. Teque- yeah, tequila in the depths. Let's talk vodka. about this next week. Right, well, okay. you'll, you'll fucking tune in for that. Oh, I think next week is Spotify exclusive week. Oh, is it? So, yeah, everyone at home, uh, if you want to listen to next week's Spotify... Uh, I was about to say early. No, if you if you want to listen Spotify. to it, go over go, next week's episode. Go over to Spotify and follow us there. Yes, please, yeah. guys. It'll be only be on there. It'll only be on there. On podcast. It's linked in the on... description. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I just did the same thing. I just did the same it's thing. It's exclusive on podcast. Hello, guys. <laughs> if you want to watch next week's Spotify, go over to podcast and give it a watch. <laughs> if you want to podcast Spotify <laughs> on next video. If you want to go watch next week's video <laughs> on spot, no, not video. It's audio only. Oh! <laughs> if you want to watch next week's podcast, it's on Spotify. The E Boys podcast. Check it out. Also, you can't watch it. You can't watch it. It's um. Well, you can. You can watch the bar go up. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit there and just watch the bar, watch the bar slowly <laughs> load in. It's part of a game on there. If you get to the end of it, you get rewards, which is good content. So go give it a listen. Thank you for watching episode 10. See you guys next time. Peace out.